Hi again, YouTubers. So it is that time of month for favorites, regrets, empties, a little bit of jewelry, and anything else I can think of, quite honestly. Um, this month, I had a lot of stuff I liked. I'm not going to lie. I only had one regret. Um, I only have one real piece of jewelry that I would tell you guys about this month. Um, so it should be a quick video. So let's jump right into it. So the first thing that I have been loving, and I have no idea how to say this, it's by D&G, so Dolce & Gabbana. Um, it's number three. I'm gonna have to put it up here. I have no idea how to say this word that starts with an L, like no idea. I am usually, oh God, I can't even, it's like fruity, but sweet, not just citrusy. It's also sweet. Oh, I can't even explain it. It smells so amazing. I am so bad. I know there is kiwi and some other things in there. The only reason I remember kiwi is because I'm allergic to it. So I remember being like, oh no, but no issues. I am just I can't get enough of this. I mean, I just bought this and look how much I'm already through. I just spray it every day consistently. It's just, if you are a sweet, there's no spice to this. There is like, it is just sweet, fruity scent. It is just ugh, to die for. Amazing. The next thing I have been loving is from Marc Jacobs and it is the pout liner. It's the P in the parentheses and then outliner. It's supposed to be pout liner. Thank you whoever told me that because I had no idea whatsoever. In the color, what was the color name on this? Primrose. And it's spelled like prim and then rose is in the quotes too. No idea why. This is what they look like. You guys know I love his eyeliners. Oh, couldn't get it open. They twist up from the bottom. It is what I have on my lips right now. It is actually all I have on my lips right now. And then I put a little bit of Buxom Gloss uh, White Russian over it. Absolutely love it. <clears throat> Such an easy, nice fall color. Just absolutely loving that. The next thing I have been loving is the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer. Weightless, complete coverage concealer. Light diffusing, peptide infused, paraben free. This is what it looks like. I have this in the color, I believe it's called Medium Light. It has a long doe foot applicator. It is so easy to apply. It smooths right in. It is phenomenal for under the eyes. Phenomenal for under the eyes. It is the color Medium Light as opposed to light medium. I don't know what the difference is, but it is absolutely gorgeous. It just has a slight tint of like a pinkish undertone, which helps cancel out any darkness under the eyes. The next thing that I have been loving is the Cover FX Natural Finish Oil Found Oil Free Foundation. I almost said oil foundation. Oil free foundation in the color number P40. This is what it looks like. It comes in a nice little squeeze tube. Um, it just has the typical like squeezing dispenser. I usually squeeze this onto just a I buy ceramic coasters and use those. Um, and this stuff just spreads beautifully, has amazing coverage. It is very natural finish versus a matte finish, meaning it is not too glowy and it is not too matte. It just has a nice almost satin finish in the middle. Absolutely gorgeous, phenomenal. Now with that, another one of my favorites, and I had learned this trick from Jaclyn Hill, um, this is a great foundation, has a lot of coverage to it. If you don't want a lot of coverage and you just want a little bit of coverage with it, or a decent amount of coverage with more of a healthy glow, more of like, almost like a tinted moisturizer type of feel, but not, it has better coverage, I guess is the best way to put it. I have been mixing this with it and it is the Lancome Multivial Daily Replenishing Oil. Okay, this is what it looks like. It comes in a nice glass tube and all they do is I squeeze a little line of this and then I take one drop, one drop of this mix it together and then apply it and it is just so smooth so pretty so nice so healthy looking it is just absolutely gorgeous i absolutely love those two together uh last thing on my favorites are two brushes so it's kind of one favorite kind of two two brushes that i've been absolutely loving from hourglass this is the hourglass number four brush i think it's called like the domed something um, this brush is what 
I love about a Mac 217, but it doesn't shed and it doesn't fall apart. And it is just great for just getting in that, it is so soft, for getting in that crease. It is not itchy, it is not scratchy. It is just, has such nice movement to it. It is like, it's tapered up, but not to the same dramatics of a 217, but it has that same size to it and that same density to it. It is absolutely phenomenal. Absolutely love this. The only thing I don't like about hourglass brushes, when you get them, they have this like plastic piece over the brush part, and it's impossible to get it off, and I scratch the brush getting it off, which annoys me. I know that's so silly, but you know, it's just annoying. The next thing from hourglass is the number two brush. I don't remember what this one is called. I love this one for bronzing slash contouring. In this time of year when I'm a little bit not as tan, and I actually have self-tanner today, <clears throat> but in the days when I don't have as much color, you don't want as big of a fluffy kind of bronze look all over like you do in the summertime. You want that all over healthy glow. In the wintertime, I find I want a little bit more precise bronzing, but I don't want to always like contour. So this brush is phenomenal for that. And this brush is super soft as well. All of their brushes are. But if you can see, it's kind of a combination. It's a little bit more flat than a typical brush, but it's not as big and as wide as your typical bronzer brush. And this is perfect for just getting that hollow and then kind of bringing it up and then kind of blending it all in. It is just an amazing, amazing brush. My girlfriend, Amory turned me on to these brushes again. I forgot about them. And this brush is just to die for. It just uh, feels so nice and just absolutely in love with that. Regrets. I only have one regret this month, and it is a brush. It is the Marc Jacobs Face 3 Buffing Foundation Brush. This is what the box looks like. <clears throat> I did try this. I love Marc Jacobs brushes. I absolutely love them. I did not like his blush brush. I think it was the angled one. Sorry, I should have probably taken this out, but it was sitting there getting ready to go back. All right, so this is what the brush looks like. It is a shorter handle. kind of reminds me of the Tarte um, Amazonian. No, I don't remember. It's, it's a short little buffing kind of foundation brush, similar. Okay, nice and fat, super soft, really, really, really dense. Too dense for what I wanted to use it for. It was awkward with liquid foundation. It kind of like caused streaks and kind of dragged a little bit as you were using it. And for powders, it was too dense unless you were using it for something like a mineral powder. Because if you tapped it on, it was like depositing too much directly. But if you buffed it on, it again had too much drag to it. Um, I much prefer, and I use this, it's dirty right now. I think it's called the Face One Brush, the Marc Jacobs Face One Brush. Very, very similar, has the longer handle though, but this one has, so, oh, I need to clean my brushes today, has so much movement to it. And it's just awesome to like really, you can tap it on or you can buff it on. Either one, it just does an amazing job. Whereas this one, see, there's like no give to this. So that's kind of why it just wasn't working out for me on either liquid or powders the way I use them. So I just wasn't too into it and it's an expensive brush so if I'm not in love with it I'm not going to keep it. So that is going back onto jewelry. And the one piece of jewelry this month that I've absolutely been loving is called the Bardot and it is the Spark the Bardot Sparkle Spiral maybe or the Bardot Spiral maybe. This is what it looks like. Can I tell you that I have looked the last couple times I've shown this on a video. The video does not do this justice. It is so sparkly, so lightweight, so beautiful. It looks much darker on camera for some reason. And it is just beautiful. So easy to take on and off. You just unwrap it and you wrap it. And it's just so lightweight and absolutely amazing. I am in love with it. Along the lines of jewelry, I also have a video that went up if you were looking for gift giving ideas for Stella and Dot gift giving ideas. I have ideas under 20, 30, 40, 50, and 100. Um, I also have a mystery hostess trunk show going on. If you are interested in purchasing any gifts or items for yourself, please follow that link. You get entered. Every $50 you spend enters you to win the mystery hostess pot. I usually break it up. Each person gets $250 in free 
jewelry and then at least one or two half off items is what I try and split it up between. Um, also right now, it's crazy that selling that is just going crazy right now is also the uh, dot dollars are going on right now. So for every $50 you spend, you get a $25 certificate back from December 29th to January 5th to spend on whatever you want. So that is everything for this month's favorites, regrets, empties, and a little bit of jewelry. I'll tell you what I have on today. Um, this is the Silver Sutton. I just have on a white t-shirt from Target, a little jacket from Lewin Gray. Um, that is a line that Ann Taylor Loft sells. Uh, let's see here, I'm, I'm doing this backwards today. On my face, I have on Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Tarte CC Corrector, Shiseido Sun Protection Powder, Hourglass Bronzer, Urban Decay Naked Concealer under the eyes with the Kat Von D shade and light, the um, light part under the eyes, NARS Madly Blush, on my eyes is NARS Pro Primer, the Viseart 01 Neutral Matte, the IT Cosmetics Brow Pencil with the Benefit Give Me Brow Mousse, Unique 3D Mascara, everything on my eyes. On my lips is the Marc Jacobs outline, P, out, P Outliner, Poutliner, oh I can't ever say that right, uh, with a little bit of Buxom White Russian on it and my hair is just pulled up for today and that is everything. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Please let me know if you have any questions whatsoever and thanks so much as always for watching. Have a great day.